Now, all of us have had pain, and um, there are different kinds of pain. This is acute pain, and acute pain, by definition, lasts less than four weeks. And we all know this, we've all had an episode where you kind of burnt your hand or you twisted your ankle, and you messages come from your body, come up to your brain, and you are aware of the pain, it's sore, it lasts a period of time, it gets better. So that's acute pain. There's a second kind of pain, and that's chronic pain. Now chronic, in New Zealand, often people say, oh my pain's chronic, which means they say it's really bad. But in, from a medical point of view, chronic actually means it lasts a long time. So that's really what chronic pain is. Lasting longer than four weeks, in fact lasting six weeks. And there are two kinds of chronic pain. The first is where there is an underlying cause. So you've got something, a disease process inside your body and it's going on. You've got an arthritis, you've got a cancer, you've got something which is causing pain all the time. But there's a second group of people, and this is in fact the group that I think are most interesting. And it's in fact the majority, really. And that is where there is no obvious ongoing cause of pain. Now, I'll, I'll paint a scenario. You've been working away and you bend down to pick up something, you lift it up, and as you lift up, oh, you feel a twinge in your back. Now, that's happened before. Uh, you sort of go down and you, get, you go and visit your local whoever, or it just goes away. But this time, even though it's some movement that you've done many times before, the pain doesn't go. And this uh, happens many, many times. So you think, oh, goodness, okay. I wonder why... So then you go along and you get some help, and that doesn't work, and then you go and see somebody else, and you go off to the chiropractor, and then you go down to the physio, and then... A few months are going by and you've still got this pain in the neck or your pain in the back or in your butt or wherever it is and you're getting quite concerned because this pain is really starting to intrude into your life and to bother you. And then suddenly all your friends have got lots of useful information like you should go up country and see this person who can magically fix you or that and you traipse around to different people and the pain doesn't go away. They all promise we're going to fix your pain but they don't. Now, under this circumstance, you've got two choices. The one is, you keep chasing an elusive, elusive cure. And the second is that you decide, well, this pain is just part of the furniture. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to learn to manage it. And that's really, well, that was my introduction. So, but round about, but this is what it's all about. You've got this pain. And how are you going to manage it? So, the first question is, what is pain? Does, does anyone want to give me a definition? Bloody sore. Bloody sore, I like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was a, it's, it's a hard thing to define. Really, really difficult. How, how do you define something that we all feel, pain? And in fact, in the 19... Sorry? Because you can't see it. You can't see it, you can only feel it. And there was this group called the IASP, International Association for the Study of Pain. A whole lot of pain experts, and they got them together in the 90s, sent them into a dark cave and said, don't come out until you've got a definition. Only in the 1990s. So they came out with a definition. And the definition goes like this. It is, it's a hard thing to define, an unpleasant sensation. So what does that mean? Well, here, here I've got my finger, I put it on my arm, and I touch, nice and light. Now, what I'm doing is I'm stimulating some nerve endings. They're sending via a nerve up to my brain. And, oh, that's quite a nice feeling. It's not unpleasant. So I start pushing harder. I push harder. And as I push harder, it starts becoming unpleasant. Oh, yeah, I don't really like that. But I carry on talking. da di da da I carry on talking. Because it's, it's actually not pain. Now something happens. What I do is I take my nail and I dig in. And as I dig in, something else happens. It goes, I go, oh, oh, stop doing that. It's, it's 
stupid to do to myself anyway, but if, someone, if it was happening, what happens is not only do you have an unpleasant sensation, but you get an emotional response, and it's a negative emotional response. So you have these two things in pain. Pain, it's an unpleasant sensation of some sort, plus it gets you. It's got to get you to be pain. If it doesn't get you, it's something else. 